Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kamaya, the photographer and the owner of Kamaya Portraits. I wanted to come to you all real quickly and show you all um, how I changed the color of my backgrounds or my backdrops. Um, if you hear any, you know, low breathing or baby noises, it's my baby because he's with me. So I'm going to show you all real quickly how I do that in Photoshop and in Lightroom. So all you have to do is click on this icon and it's two ways you can do it. You can do it with the hue and saturation or you can do it with selected colors. Uh, so just click on hue saturation first. You know, drag that out of the way. And then you take your slider and you can just move it whichever way, whatever color you want want it to be. Now, the thing about this is, of course it's going to change the whole picture, but all you have to do is mask this out. So, we're just going to create a layer mask, and then we're going to hit Control, oops, Control I. Oh yeah, either or works. I don't even know why I put a mask. But control and I and you can go ahead and paint it out with a color white. Or you could have left it at white and your brush could have been black and you could have paint painted, you know, removed it from the subject space. So you can show that real quick. And there it is, it's making it purple. So, that's one way you can do it in Photoshop. Now, I'm going to show you the second way you can do it in Photoshop. Click the icon again, go to select the colors, and we are going to play around with it. Make it darker, magenta. Boom. Now the reason why I'm using the red slider is simply because the backdrop is red. So you can use your black brush, like I said, and you can go ahead and start painting the subject out. Okay, so now I'm in Lightroom. This is just a raw picture that I haven't edited just yet. Um, now I'm going to go into my HSL slash color drop down and I'm gonna mess with the hue and the saturation and a little bit of the luminous not much uh, it's the same in Photoshop so well, of course we're gonna mess with the reds because pink yeah I don't know <laughs> I'm just gonna mess with the red slider first uh, depending on your background color you just play around with whichever one is the primary color or something that's closest to it and on here the closest thing to pink uh, would be the red slider so you just move that whichever direction you want it and make it even more pinker so it goes to purple and if you break it down and make it more brown um so I'm just gonna bring it slider right there you got a saturation same thing oh that's the wrong one you don't want to mess with the greens that's not necessary you can bring it down that makes it lighter so it take away the the vividness of the picture or the the color of the backdrop and then you can bring it up that makes it even more vivid we're gonna make we're gonna mess with the red luminous same thing it's gonna make it a little bit darker so that's how I got my red um and that's gonna make it more on the pinkish side so that's really how I got my red backdrop um, I'm gonna bring it just a little bit because I'm a little bit more bright red. And there it is. That's how you change the color of your backdrops in Photoshop and in Lightroom. Me personally, I prefer that you change it in Lightroom. It's, it's more easier and you're able to select all of these pictures and sync it onto your other photographs. Um, so yeah, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel for more learning materials. I'm also going to be doing a tutorial on how I retouch my photographs um, in another video. So make sure to subscribe to get notified when I post that. And I'll see you all on the next video.